Hello, hello, hey, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of English no Kuru Haju. My name is Foster, coming to you live from rainy Porto, Portugal. As always, I am here with my co host, my partner in crime and partner in life, the one, the only. Alexia. Hi. Hey, Alexia, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm doing quite well. It's another rainy day, and I'm doing what I like to do almost more than anything else recording podcast with you. Yes, yes, that's very true. And today we are, well, I am going to suffer. Today, there <laughs> will be a lot of suffering involved. So, this week on the show, we have been focusing on words that are especially difficult for Brazilians to pronounce, or at least words that Brazilians tend to make a lot of mistakes with. Yeah. And we did some shows talking about like platforms, social media, streaming services, things to make it a little bit more fun. But today, we're just doing 100% difficult words, crazy writing system in English. This is English 101. <laughs> yes, and I'm looking at the, the three first words, and I'm already freaking out. <laughs> because, I mean, the first one I know, and then it's very hard. Okay, so today... Specifically, we are focusing on words that end with the letters G, H. Palavras que terminam com as letras G, H. Yes. And this is a wonderful example of the fact that English is not a phonetic language, which is to say, the way we write in English does not make sense It does not indicate the way you will pronounce a word. So it does not matter if you can write in English. That does not necessarily mean that you will be able to speak. And the GH is a great example of that. That's very true. Okay, so let's start with an easy one, Alexia. Okay. How do you say the word alto? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Perfect. Exact same pronunciation as like hi, like oi, hi. Hi as a kite. Hi as a kite. But in this case, we write hi with a GH at the end. So H I G H. Yes. Hi. Hi. And how would you say when I make the sound? <sighs> no idea. No idea? <laughs> Sight? Mm, close. Close. That's another GH word. Sai. Sai. Okay. Yeah. How do you say that in Portuguese? Não sei. Oh. That's a word that's quite common in English. Um, when you sigh. Ah, that's what we say. Sigh. Um, ah, yeah. Suspiro. Yeah. It's when... <sighs> Yeah. This is a suspiro. Yeah, it's like an exhalation of your breath. But you sigh is like, ah, what a relief. Yeah, exactly. Suspiro. Suspiro de alívio. Exactly. Okay. So, we say hi and sigh. This is the exact same sound that you have in Portuguese in words like pai, vai. But we write them with the GH for some reason. Okay. Okay, does that make sense so far? Yes. Okay, where should we go next? Ah, okay, Alexia. How do you say this word? <laughs> laugh. Laugh. Yeah. Okay. Is that difficult for you? No. Laugh. Laugh. I'm laughing, laugh, laughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we write this word L-A-U-G-H. But how would you describe the final sound in this word? F. Yes. Essentially, it is the typical F sound, like in my name, Foster. F. Laugh. Yeah, laugh. Exactly. 
But we write it with a GH. Yeah, and it it's almost like left, but it's left. Like left? Yeah, left, left. Like left and right? Yeah. Yeah, but this is a different vowel sound, so we do not say le, eh, eh. We say la, ah, left. left. So just like cat, master, disaster, laugh. Laugh. Nice. Left, laugh. Okay. La. Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> laugh. There we go. It's okay. not laugh. Laugh. <laughs> laugh. Laugh. When something is funny, you're going to laugh. Laugh. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We started with some of the easy ones. Let's get directly into the really difficult ones. Alexia, the word although. Mm hmm. Can you say that for me? Although. 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 How would you translate although to Portuguese? Mm. Mm. É, mesmo que... Yeah. Um, apesar de... Apesar de, mesmo que... Uh, além disso... Além, é. Yeah. Although, although it's raining, I have to go outside. Exactly. So, although... This is another example of the crazy writing system in English. We write this A-L-T-H-O-U-G-H. Although. Yes. So if you're looking at this and thinking, hmm, how do I pronounce this? You would probably say something like, although. Although. But it's although. Although. So in this case, the G-H, totally silent. Yeah. Although. Okay. And if you remove the all, we mm -hmm. have the word though. Yeah. Which essentially means the exact same thing. Yeah. Although. Yeah. I also use the word though quite frequently as a filler word. So I just add this to the end of a phrase or a sentence. And like, hmm, let me think of an example. I'm not hungry, but I, I'm still going to eat, though. Ah, but you say though. Yeah. Without the all. Okay. Yeah. I don't use all though very commonly. Mm -hmm. But though, a lot of times I just add it to the end of a phrase, really for no reason. It's just something to say. Okay. Yeah. So today we're going to record podcast. I really don't want to, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because it really doesn't make sense, but it's something I do. Yeah. Okay. So, Alexia, think about the word though. So we have T-H-O-U-G-H. Just add an R after the T-H. How do you say that word? Throw. Mm, close. <laughs> close. <laughs> so... If we add an R, then we have the word through. Through. Yes. So, for example, you're going through the tunnel. I hate this word so much. Through. Yeah. Imagine when you throw something, like you throw a ball or you throw away the trash. In the past, we say, I threw. I threw the ball. Exact same pronunciation. Through. Through. Okay. That's perfect. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Okay. So we have though, but when you add an R after the TH, it changes to through. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And if we add an O after the TH, but before the R, what do we get? The row. Thorough. <laughs> I was practicing so much before. Thorough. Thorough. Yes. So, thorough. Do you understand this word? Thorough? Mm -hmm. I do, but I never use it. Maybe because I'm too afraid of using it. Yeah. Thorough the years. Um, nope. Okay. So, no. That's See, incorrect. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. So, we have the word throughout. Throughout the years. Yeah. But the word thorough is to be very diligent, to 
really pay attention to all of the details. We normally use this word in its adverbial form. So I'm thoroughly reading the details of the case. It means you're being very diligent and careful. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, think about that word and try to use it later today. Uh-huh. Okay. Excellent. Any questions about the words though, through, throughout, <laughs> thorough, or although? No questions. I just need to use it more often. Okay. So let's just do a couple more, Alexia. Just a little bit more suffering. Por favor. What do you say in English when you want to say chega? Enough. Enough. Okay, so again... Enough of that, Foster. Enough of that. Again, we have the GH as an F sound. Enough. Enough. Perfect. We have a very similar word in terms of writing. Rough. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that exam was rough. Yeah, rough means... Uh, Complicado. Quite difficult. Yeah. So, uh, I had a rough day. Yeah. Foi um dia difícil. But, we also say cough. Cough, which is <coughs> tossir. Yeah, tossir, cough. Cough. So, this vowel sound is the ah sound, just like ah, ah, saw. Okay? Yeah. Cough. Cough, cough. So, we have enough, rough, and cough. All of these words end with O-U-G-H, but they all have slightly different pronunciations. Make sense? Uh-huh. Okay, finally, we have words that end with G-H and then a T at the end. For example, bought, caught, taught, fault. All in the past. Uh, yes, in this case, these are all in the past. And the most common mistake that I see Brazilians make is they want to say, ow, ow. Like, ah, my teacher taught, taught. Okay, taught, caught, bought. But again, this is just the ah sound, just like olha bought, caught, taught, fought. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, any questions, Alexia? No. So, I know this is super confusing. It does not make sense because most of English writing does not make sense. But the good news is there are not that many words that end in GH in English. We talked about pretty much all of the important ones today. So, I hope that helps. Yes, a lot. I need to practice a lot of... And the though, thorough, thorough, thorough. Thorough. Yes, so I need to practice those. Okay, Alexia will practice and we will get back to you. As always, keep up the good fight. And lose well. <laughs>